when I came here first, I was a small independent publisher, probably printing, you know, my 60th or 70th book um, here at GGP. We've now printed nearly over 600 books, 27 million copies. It's a landmark. If they had not done a good job, I would have moved printing to somewhere else. But because the books were so beautifully printed here, and we worked together very well. I'm a great believer that publishing is a craft. And what I respect here in Pusnik is that I feel your craftsman. You're, when I talk to people on press here, we're talking the same language. And one of the things that's happened in modern conglomerate publishing is perhaps a lot of publishers have rather lost that. To be a really good publisher, you have to understand all the different disciplines. And that includes editorial, design, uh, obviously marketing and sales, but also to some extent production. You start it because you believe it's going to work, but you don't know. And actually if I'd set up a company called Campbell and Smith, it probably wouldn't have worked as well. It, it was because it had this name with great resonance. Uh, Mick Jagger came to the first party and bought three sets of Everyman and went on Channel 4 television news to say why he thought the relaunch of Everyman was important. So the newspapers and the media couldn't believe that a rock star <laughs> was helping launch a publishing house. I was lucky. The book is the first modern industrial product in the 15th century. It shaped the modern world. The modern world would not exist as we know it without the impact of books. The invention of television did not replace radio. Um, people will read not just electronically as we do now on tablets or computers or, or telephones, but in ways that perhaps not in yet even thought of. Um, it will not nevertheless replace the book. The book will always remain important.